your team, your school. From WFSB3, this is the Eyewitness Sports Friday Night Frenzy. From our broadcast house in Rocky Hill, welcome to the spring debut season, Friday Night Frenzy. Right here on Channel 3, I'm Joe Zone. I am not the piano man, yeah. and we did uh. not start the fire. <laughs> no, we'll put it out, though. I'm Mark Robinson. We got you covered with the spring high school sports season right through championship weekend in June. We're going to begin tonight with our big game on three as we send it over to the man who had the call tonight for softball, Unqua Sonia. Hi, Unqua. Fellas, I'm a native Long Islander, and I did not prepare a Billy Joel pun. My bad. <laughs> well, the Sun played a little hide-and-seek in Coventry, but the Patriots softball team is getting every squad's best shot. The reigning class has champs going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Middletown for our first big game on three this spring. And we'll start in the very top of the first inning. Elizabeth Mitchell striking out the side in order. We had no score, but we go to the bottom of the second. Charlotte Wazilowski stepped to the dish with a runner on. Here comes the 1-1. It's a high fly ball to deep left field. Oh, we'll give chase and it's gone. Charlotte Wazilowski, a two-run shot to left center. Coventry's on the board. It's 2-0 Patriots. Now Middletown would tack on a couple runs. It's 3-2 Coventry, bottom five. Two runners on for Mitchell, who gets it done both ways. The St. Peter's commit ripped the two-run double. It's 5-2 Coventry. Same frame. Check out the diving catch from Peyton Morello to keep Middletown in it. 7-2 top seven with a runner on, so it's pretty much over, right? Kayla Daniels has other ideas. I think everyone on the team works really hard. I think we did a good job like staying focused and picking each other up, so that was good. We all work pretty hard, and if we make mistakes, we just pick each other up because in the end of the day, you can't control what happened in the past. You can only control what happened in the future. So we, we just pick each other up and move on. Things aren't going to come to you, so we, we get aggressive. We try to take what we can, and we try to push and take a little bit more that's not even there, um, force the other teams to make mistakes, um, and they're all in on it. So, you know, everybody, there's nobody that's hesitant with it. Coventry went on to win the game 7-5 to five over Middletown. They put up a rally to the Blue Dragons, but that was our final. But how's this for full circle? Charlotte Wazilowski is the story behind P.J. Day for the kids. You see, she had cancer as an infant, so her older brother Nick had the idea to wear pajamas to school to collect donations there as well. Every town in this state and some outside of it participated, and since then, those efforts have raised over a million dollars for Connecticut children. Children's Medical Center. She was cancer free and she hit her first career homer today. Awesome. I'll be back in just a few minutes with a check on some boys volleyball action for now. Mark, Joe, back to you.